Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play by me, the Gamer Wolf 6 of More Not To Revised Shinsu and hopefully Perfect Root. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can go down to the link in the description where you can download and play it for free. And also, while not apt at this episode, uh, ways farther into the series, there's going to be an 8 scene which we're going to be skipping over because YouTube policies. And with that, let's start. Hmm, I wonder what I should do today. Dark, can you get that for me? I'm busy with the dishes right now. Okay, Grandma. I have a perfect Grandma voice. Hello? This is Wolf. <sighs> Hello, this is Dog Meme. Ah, good morning, Dark. Koyuji, what's up? I saw your game yesterday. You guys looked awesome. Thank you. I thought I saw a familiar face in the crowd. Mikazuki said you and Kudori were there. Thank you for showing up. I think Mikazuki's the bear guy. <laughs> so... Are you free for lunch today? Hmm? Sure. I was just thinking about what I wanted to do today. I hear a clap on the other side. I guess I could hold the phone with a shoulder. Excellent. If you find yourself downtown, why don't you stop by the Rymon? Miss... Tuno Tarno is having a celebration party for Sataro and I. Really? That sounds amazing. I'll totally be there. Great. The party starts at noon. We'll see you then. Thanks, Koyuji. See you later. Wow. I didn't expect that. Now that I actually get a chance to congratulate them in person. They said they did so well yesterday. It's a shame the bus schedule is so wonky. Hey, Grandma? Yes, dear? I'm heading out now. A couple of my friends are having a party at the Rymon, and they just invited me. Oh, another party so soon? Heh, you're quite the busy young man lately, aren't you? Huh? Yeah, I'm becoming regular... I'm not going to say that word. D don't put it that way, Grandma. I guess the main character also thought that. Gonna make me blush. Yeah, so don't to worry about making me lunch today. That's too bad. I was just about to make your favorite steak and vegetable rice bowl. <laughs> the mere mention of that, of what I had yesterday, triggers an involuntary stomach movement. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure it would have been delicious. I returned to my room and prepared myself for the afternoon. Walking down the road again to the Rymon. Jeez, it ha wasn't even a week ago when I had a welcoming party. Talk about deja vu. Although, this time we're having lunch instead of dinner. That counts as different, right? Ah. I get some strange looks as I'm passing by. People in Minnesota can read your mind. Er, what? It's calm to think about these things, isn't it? Soon, the nostalgic red paper lanterns enter my view. With slight hesitation, I walk through the front door and into the restaurant. Dark, glad to see you, ma you can make it. Hi, Koyuji. Before I could finish entering the lobby, Koyuji greets me and waves me to follow. Sure, I can prepare something like that, but it'll cost you. Uh, oh. <sighs> hmm? I'm not sure how I would make that sound. Ha. Hmm. There's an old, older, frazzled looking lion woman at the counter trying to order something for Pops. I think that's Sotaro's mom. According to Koeji, she's the one setting up the whole party. Looks like she's trying to order something special for us. Can we make it just a little bit then? Jeez. I wonder if she can afford something like this. 
Kyoji claps his hands together and calls out to the others who are already here. Good news, everyone. Dark men to make it. Heh. <laughs> I rub the back of my head with my right hand. Whoa, thanks for coming, Mr. Wolf. Jiruchi uh, nods his head at me. Wolf. <laughs> Couldn't resist having lunch today, could you? And Shin cuts in two with his biting sarcasm. Hey guys, it's good to see everyone again. Don't just stand there, Dark. Take a seat. Uh, oh, right. Hmm, I wonder who I should sit with. Looking around, it's kind of strange there's so few of us right now. Maybe I'll ask Koyuji? In an unusual twist, Koji's sitting alone, keeping an eye on Miss Otaru with while everyone else mingles. Hey, Koichi. Ah, did you want to sit with me? Go ahead. He pulls out a seat next to him and invites me over. I graciously bow to him. This is a nice little get-together. Who's all showing up? Um... He pauses for a moment, wondering what to say. It's no big deal. I know our schedules don't match up today. Miss Torno really wanted to celebrate our victory, though, so I did my best in fighting our friends. Tatsuki's busy with work today. He doesn't get off until late in the afternoon, so I completely understand his situation. Last I heard, Oshima, Konosuke, and Shin are making a special trip out to Kazunari. Who's Oshima? Profiles. Oh, okay. Hmm. <coughs> uh, return. I think it was to develop pictures for something. I don't know. They sound really excited about it. So I didn't have the heart to tell them they'd miss the, our party. Oh, that's too bad. I wonder what kind of pictures are, are so important that they'd miss this. Don't make that face dark. It's not a problem. Still, it would have been nice to get everyone together again. Say, where's Koya? He has work in Kazanari. I'm not surprised he couldn't make it, but I invited him anyway. Hey, don't talk about me, don't talk about me like that. I'm standing right here. Koya-kun! Uh, ir eerily? Right on cue, Koya walks around the corner into the restaurant to greet us. Koya, you made it. M Mr. Achosuki. Hey, Sotaro, Koya's mine. Thanks for coming. I had to pull a few strings to do this, but here I am. Yo, Koya. Yo, Dark. Congratulations on the win, by the way, Koichi. Sorry I couldn't see it. That's no problem. You can't help it if you have work. Yeah. Still hesitant to talk about his job, I see. I wonder why he would be hesitant. Like in this version. I mean, I guess they did change a few things around. Because I don't think this scene was here in the original. Oh. I see more of you have shown up. Miss Torno, Torno joins the rest of us while carrying a stack of menus. Man. Is she always this stressed out? Ah, sorry, I didn't mean it that way. Uh, she shakes slightly while uh, placing the menus on the table near our group. It's nice to meet Sotaro. It's nice to see Sotaro made so many friends here. Pra practically covering her face, she takes a seat close to me and Koyuji. Are you right, Rumiko? Hm. Ah, ah. I, I just. Didn't expect so many of you. I'm feeling kind of bad about this right now. I remember Koiji mentioning a while ago that Sotaro's family isn't particularly well off. This is probably going to cost them a lot of money. Maybe I'll offer to pay uh, for my meal? I'm sorry, Miss Torno. I'd be more than happy to pay for myself. I'm glad to see be here supporting my friends. 
Without warning, I hear a loud sound under the table. She looks up at me, face strangely serious after the way she's been acting. N nonsense I would never expect such a thing from you. Th this is a party. Don't hold back. She stands up again and dresses the rest of the group. Hmm. Everyone, please feel free to order whatever you would like on the menu. It's my treat. Then she starts walking towards the bathroom. Jeez. I mean, I get what she's trying to do, but that doesn't make me feel any better. This isn't going to be a problem, is it? Don't worry about it. She's been this way for as long as I've known her. It hasn't been easy for Toro and his mom after Mr. Torino died. The two of us are talking in a low whisper. Hmm. Didn't you say he died in a construction accident? Uh, let's not discuss it here. He claps his hands together and yells out to everyone. You heard, Miss Torno. Don't hold back. Let's enjoy the party. I smile at Koichi as I look down and open the menu in front of me. I'll just order something simple today. No need to have anything extravagant after all. Hmm. Well, looks like everyone's finished eating. Heh. <laughs> Feels like my welcoming party. This is probably a good chance to sit down with somebody and talk to them some more. Who should I sit with? I'm ready to sit next to Koyuji. Well, since I'm uh, not seducing but romancing Shin, let's romance Shin by sitting next to him. Because that's how things work. Hey, is the seat taken? I smoothly walk over to where Sin is sitting and try to start a conversation. Jin? Hmm? Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you were talking to me. <laughs> Do you mind if I sit next to you for a while? Go ahead. I don't care. Ouch. Look down at the book in his hands. Oof. I think I see why he's annoyed with me right now. Thanks. With an awkward stammer, I pull up a chair and sit next to my moody friend. So... Uh, he sighs in annoyance, or is it frustration? Either way, it doesn't sound good. What do you want to talk about? Uh... I don't know. I desperately glance around the restaurant for a way out. I didn't mean to make him mad. But it looks like everyone else is busy. Koya and Juji are having good conversation on the other table, uh, on the other table, and Koichi is discussing uh, something up with Sotaro's mom. Sotaro is still eating his lunch, so I probably shouldn't interrupt him. Hmm. Dark? Huh? Oh, sorry. I guess I spaced out there for a second. Happens to me all the time. Indeed. I've been doing that a lot lately. I wonder why. So, what are you reading? Looks pretty interesting. Oh, this? He holds up the hardback book in front of him. Name is in another language, so you don't really understand it. Ah, is that in French? It's a story about a woman who's unhappy with in her marriage. She meets another man and starts having an affair with him. Later on, they decide to murder her husband so that they can be together. Wow, that sounds pretty... dark. They get what they deserve in the end, though. They eventually grow to hate each other, and secretly plan on ways how they're going to kill each other. Is it a comedy? No. Oh. You say that like it's a weird thing. What? Murder comedies are the best comedies. No. I didn't mean it that way. I just didn't expect you to enjoy reading stuff like that. You must not know a lot about me then. 
We're really warming ourselves up to Shin, and soon we'll have a blooming romance. <laughs> Maybe not. I awkwardly fidget in my seat. Once again, I glance around the room. Everyone else is busy doing other things. So, why don't you tell me something about yourself? I excuse me? Yeah. You can't say something like that and not expect this question in return. I wink at him, giving him a wry smile. I... It gets quiet all of a sudden. Was that a bad idea? Shin? Crap. I shouldn't have asked that. Guess he's not comfortable talking about himself. Even with a friend. Never mind. <sighs> Sorry, I wasn't prepared for that. It, it's not a problem. Say, are you feeling alright? What do you mean? I don't know. You seem a little tense today. Is there something wrong? I got a call from my mom this morning. <clears throat> oh? She told me she isn't able to see me this year and apologized. I, I see. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? It's not your fault. Uh... Maybe I should rephrase that. What I meant to say is... My condolences? <laughs> She's not dead, Dark. She's just busy this year. Uh, oh. My palm collides with my forehead. I can't get this right. It's just Shin. Eh, uh, don't worry. I have the same thing too, I guess. <clears throat> okay, how about your father? My dad? He's busy too, but that doesn't surprise me. He's always busy. Memories flash through my mind. As far as I can remember, Shin has only lived in this village for, with Mr. Amaki. I don't think I've seen his parents in person, though he showed up the he showed the group of us a photo once. They seem like nice people. I think. I don't know. Look at my friend. I see it bothers him quite a bit that he doesn't see him often. I wish there was something I could do. Hey. I know it's not the same, but you still have Mr. Amaki, right? Sometimes I feel like he's the only real family I have. What? Uh, what was that? Wait, what was that? Oh. Sorry, I was just mumbling to myself. Mikey has taken good care of me over the years. He's always prepared me- Oh, shit. He's always prepared for my next asthma attack. What? You haven't had one since- well, You haven't had one of those recently, have you? Not at all. It's been years since the last one. He's just likes to be prepared. And I'm thankful for it. He speaks in such a lonely tone. I wonder. Hey, Shin? You're not lonely here, are you? I see. <sighs> I feel really bad for him. We used to hang out a lot when I lived in Minnesota. Me moving away couldn't have been easy for him, now that I think about it. You know what would be nice? Hmm? We should spend more time together this summer. I kind of miss the days we used to have when we were, when we were young, don't you? I... Oh no. He only has that face when he's about to disagree, violently. That would be fun. Yeah, what? I can't hold back my surprise. F -f -f -f. You're always so shameless, Dark. I nervously rub the back of my head. Eh. Yep, 
That's me. She and I continued to talk for a while. It's nice getting a chance to reconnect with one of my old friends in a relaxed environment. The party starts to wind down as we approach 4 p.m. Now that dessert's finished, this is probably a good time to wrap things up. Thank you so much for coming today, guys. It, it's meant a lot that you showed up. No problem, kiddo. There's no... There's eh, there's nothing to thank us for, Kuno. We're glad to be here. It was a lovely party, Miss Taro. Oh, uh, uh, it's nothing. I'm just happy to see so many faces today. Mom. The old man emerges around the corner and walks toward Miss Torno. I'm glad everyone enjoyed their food. Here's the bill, madame. Oh. She glances down at the paper while Pops returns behind the counter. Is everything alright, Rumiko? Oh, jeez. I had a feeling this was going to happen. M Miss Torno, please. I insist on paying for my meal, at least. No! The restaurant goes quiet with her outburst. At her outburst. I don't know how to female yell. I mean, oh, oh dear. She seems to be on the verge of tears. Um, why don't we walk over here? Koji escorts Torno into the lobby. God, I feel so bad about this. It was nice seeing everyone. Congratulations again on your victory, Sotaro. Shin reaches into his pocket and pulls out some cash, then leaves it on the table. Same. Congratulations. I've, uh... I've gotta go get back to work soon. Uh, Koya takes some money out of his pocket and places it on the table, like Shin did. Sorry, Torno. Yuchi does the same and places the money on the table. Later, Wolf. Bye, guys. Hey, don't look so down, man. It was still a great party, wasn't it? I guess so. <sighs> what should I do? Uh, <sighs> at least the whole group didn't show up, right? Uh, God, I, I would have no idea what to do in this situation except put money on the table. On second thought... That is a pretty insensitive thing to say. Stupid. Think before you open your big mouth, Dark. It doesn't help that he's not super comfortable around me yet. Dark, you still here? Oh. Y yeah. I was just talking with Sotaro. Hey, Mr. Takahara. Hmm. Did something happen? He turns his head towards the money on the table. I see. He walks, he walks up to the pile and picks it up, hiding it away in one of his shirt pockets. It's probably better if Rumiko doesn't see this. I reach into my pocket and pull out some money too. Here, take my share. I don't feel comfortable leaving Miss Torino with the whole bill. Sorry. You have nothing to be sorry about, Torino. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Mr. Takahara. Koji claps his hands together and smiles. Thanks again for coming, Dark. I know there were a lot of other things you could have done today. It's no problem. I'll take any opportunity to spend time with my friends. I saw you at our game yesterday, too, Mr. Wolf. Yep, I was there. Did you like it? Of course I did. You guys are amazing soccer players. Really? Mm-hmm. And on my head in agreement. Ah. Well, Mr. Takahara and I have another big game coming up on the 16th. That's right. Oh, that's right. We'll see you there, 
Uh, will we see you there, Mr. Wolf? Of course, you can count on it. <laughs> Kuji seems to shake off whatever's bothering him and perks up. I don't think I actually go to that game. What do we do on the 16th? Excellent. We'll be sure to put on a good show for you. <laughs> I'll take that as a promise. Well, it's getting kind of late. I'm sure Grandma's wondering where I am right now. 4 p.m.'s late. Mm. All right. Bye, Mr. Wolf. See you later, Sotaro. You have everything I hear under control, Koichi? Yes, thank you for your concern. Enjoy your evening, Dark. Thanks, you too. I give both the big wave as I exit the Raimon and head home for the night. Well, I think that's going to be the end of this Let's Play. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, and if you're interested in playing this game, you can go down to the link in the description. You can download and play it for free. And... Again, it's not really apt in these early episodes, but later there'll be an H scene, which are going to be completely skipping over because YouTube policies. And with that, um, yeah. Comment, because I like comments, tell me if you like, dislike, tips, tricks. Otherwise, if you like my YouTube and like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out other videos to help it grow. And please spay and or new to your animals to help control the pet population. And until next time on Let's Play By Me, the Game of Six of Mornatu Revised Shinzuits, and hopefully it will be perfect since I have the thing that tells me what I'm supposed to do. So thanks and see ya.